according to a review done by the EU and the International Organization for Migration in 2012, 2012 there's a continuing trend of high immigration among young skilled working age population as well as young persons under the age of 20. The trend in immigration of nurses and teachers has continued since the 1990s and students at different levels of secondary and tertiary education component of the tertiary education component still continue to leave. There is also a high female labor migration linked to the absence of mothers, which has been economically positive, but also emotionally negative to our children. Some immigration is short term and involves persons on short term labor contracts through government managed programs and the US through the USA and Canada, and also in agriculture and the hospitality industry. The migration in issues facing Jamaica are primarily related to labor oversupply, underabsorption and mobility resulting in brain drain or waste, and return and irregular migration. The responsiveness of policymakers to these challenges has been uneven, and we believe as shapers that much more needs to be done to ensure that there is a positive interface between migration and development in Jamaica. While the policy should aim to minimize the negative and maximize the positive aspects of migration, they need to be cognizant of the importance of the freedom of individuals to choose their paths and livelihoods, as we can see on the global scale today how important that is. The preservation of this freedom, which includes the freedom to migrate, is in itself the important aspect of development. For developing nations, however, the transfer changes the skill structure of our labor force and causes labor shortages and affects fiscal policy. But it can also generate remittances and other benefits from expats and returnees. Overall, it can be a boon or a boom or a curse for developing countries, depending on the country's characteristics and policy objectives. The objective here today is to determine, based on Jamaica's characteristics, what would be the optimal policy directives to ensure or boom and in our developments for the success of Vision 2030. Through our esteemed panelists today, we'll explore the causes of migration, namely by young people, who should take and figure out who should take responsibility for the employability of the educated. Do we really, in fact, have a migration issue here in Jamaica? And does the impact of migration on our Vision 2030 goals alleviate the problems that exist? 